This water bottle has been in my freezer for about two hours. It's almost cold enough to freeze, but it's still in liquid form. However, when I slam it on the counter, a process called nucleation occurs, which means the entire bottle crystallizes and freezes. This is cocoa powder and this is milk. When I dip the cocoa powder into the milk, it appears to absorb it. However, cocoa powder is hydrophobic and it won't dissolve unless it's stirred. So if you give it a little tap, the milk goes away. Give it a little tap. Give it a little tap. The milk goes away. They're back, baby. At room temperature, the metal ball can fit through the metal rod, no problem. But now that this has been heated, it won't fit. Metals expand when they get hot. I could dip it in the ice bath to make it fit again, or we could try something else. Let's heat up the rod and see what happens. Since the rod is made of metal, it also expands so the ball can fit again. Now for the best part. What color do you get when you mix red and blue? Well, normally you would get purple, but watch this. Why aren't the colors mixing? Well, these waters are actually different temperatures. The red water is hot, the blue water is cold, and temperature affects density. The red hot water is less dense than the cold blue water, so it's able to stay on top. This is amazing. I'm gonna put this candle completely underwater, but it's not gonna go out, watch. The air in this cup creates an air bubble when I push it down and it keeps the candle lit. Convection ghost. Wait, what's a convection ghost? Carefully unfold and empty a tea bag. Stand it up straight and light it on fire. As the bag burns, the air around it is heated. Convection causes this warm air to rise and your ghost goes flying around the room. And that's how you make convection ghost. Hey everyone, I have a crazy science experiment to show you. Put a paper towel in the bottom of a plastic cup like this, and then take that cup, turn it upside down, and put it into a tub of water. Now remember, this plastic cup is filled with air, and that air actually blocks water and keeps it from coming into the cup. So when you pull the cup out and you remove the paper towel, the paper towel is completely dry. This is crazy, watch. As I pour water into this glass, the arrows change direction. This is because of something called refraction. When light travels through water, it refracts. Try this for yourself and follow for more science videos.